Welcome to Flystream Fishing guys. In today's video, we're going to be fishing the Okamungi River for some shoal bass, spotted bass, and some largemouth bass. If you did not watch my video of me getting ready for this fishing, you guys should go and watch it before you watch this because you guys will be, will know exactly what I'm throwing. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started. If the camera angle is kind of bad, I apologize because this is the this is what I have to work with. I have my phone in a like the waterproof phone thingy. And that's all that I have right now because I don't have a GoPro. Right, let's go ahead and try out this Ned rig. Just a little Hogermite black and blue on a Ned rig, Texas rig type jig head. Let's see what we can get. Oh, yeah, I might want my net too. That would be a good idea. Okay, that works right. okay. Now we're good. Again, aiming for a good, like, two or three pounder. It doesn't have to be two or three pounds, but anything over one pound. Oh, I just missed one. Got one. No, he, I saw him eat it, guys. There's no way. I saw him eat it. Okay, so there was there was one after it. Wait for it to sink just a little bit, start working it. Put it in just a little bit. Okay. Got one. Come on, please stay hooked. I'm just gonna fight him easy. There he is, right there. Swimming right by my legs. Just try to get him on. Just slap. Let's lift him up here. Perfect. Beautiful. Beautiful little bass. There we go. That's exactly what we're looking for. Nice little show bass. Go ahead and get him unhooked. Goodness gracious, buddy, you got yourself hooked pretty good. There we go. Oh, there he goes. It's one way to release a fish, I guess. Not bad. Okay, now we just need one like that, except twice the size. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. Let's try to cast them this way. Current, take it down just a little bit. And then we start moving. Ooh, that's a good one. Never mind, it. it's just a little tiny one. Dang, this is a dark little guy. Come here. Holy cow, yeah, that's a very, very dark little bass. Guys, this might be a Kusa bass. I'm not 100% sure, but he's got teal markings on his chest. If this is a Kusa bass, I definitely want to get pictures of it. I think this is a Kusa bass, guys. That's amazing. Hey, there we go. Little Kusa bass. Let's get a picture of it real quick. And we are going to send it on its way. Alrighty. There you go, little buddy. Alright. Catch another one. Crazy how hard these bass fight. Get 
pass it over that way. Perfect. Or shall I say beautiful? Come on, don't get stuck. I don't want it to dive too deep. That's why I'm reeling it in so slow. Such a slow pace. little bass that are going after this, except that other one. Definitely want to adjust the drag just right. Ooh, I don't know if that was a fish or what that was. It's kind of weird. Okay. ahead and run it through this little patch right here. I bet you we're going to get one right here, guys. Just bring it over a rock. We may get one. I'll take that back. We may get one. Especially in these rivers, the current could find some food, or it could just be like trash, like a bottle cap or something. is wrapped around here pretty good. Okay, I got it. I think. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Go. Oh, okay. 
whenever you're walking through a river like this, always be aware of where you're putting your feet. Because you don't, especially if you're moving through a high current, you do not want your foot to get stuck. Trust me, I've had that happen to me before and I almost did. Oh yeah, it's a decent little one. Golly, it's crazy how hard these bass fight. 